Hey guys, and welcome to today's update video. I'm Zockley, and I'm going to be talking to you today about update 127. So for starters, we've added a new respawn ship system. This new respawn ship system allows you to spawn at any of the planets when you launch an easy start planetary scenario. This also allows modders to define the coordinates at which a respawn ship prefab will spawn at. This should definitely help out when creating scenarios for dedicated servers. I'm also happy to announce that this week we've improved the autopilot as well as fixing some of the bugs. So hopefully now your ships will maneuver around objects and get to their destination much better than they did before. As we continue to improve the sounds in our game, we've added a sound for the helmet. You'll hear this sound when flipping the visor up and down on the character. And lastly, on the feature side of things, we've added a way to replace destroyed wheels. Now, when you go to a wheel in a control panel, there is an add wheel option. When you're in survival, pressing this will spawn a wireframe mesh, which you'll then have to use components to weld up. But in creative, this will pop a wheel straight back on. But please note that adding a wheel in this way uses the same constraints as when placing a brand new wheel suspension block. So if the area where the wheel is supposed to spawn is obstructed, then the wheel will not spawn. Moving on to bug fixes, this week we fixed the 3D model exporter in DirectX 11. This means you can now export your ships to stations to use in 3D modeling applications or to send off to order a 3D print. Please see the link in the description box below if you'd like to learn where you can buy your own Space Engineers 3D print. Other fixes made this week include some minor crash fixes, but also a fix for pull requests not working correctly in conveyor systems. For the full list of features and bugs fixed this week, please see the link in the description box below. And lastly, I'd just like to remind everyone that improvements and optimizations to both the netcode and the overall performance of the game are in development right now, and you'll see these optimizations and fixes being implemented over the coming weeks and months. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the update video, and I look forward to seeing what modders and dedicated server admins do with the new respawn ship system. Oh, and as always, if your rotors are banging, better hope your ship ain't clanging. <laughs>